Chaos like a troller is going to go for landing. Retro. Go. I know. Go. I know. Patrol. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Econ. Okay, so a YouTuber go. I follow, go. Josh Boardwell. If you don't follow him, you really should. Uh, he does this series of Can You Troubleshoot? And I enjoy this, so let me know what you think in the comments about this one. But uh, I had trouble with one of my quads. Uh, and this was the first flight that I noticed something flying with the guys in Jersey. Which was kind of a shame because I didn't get much uh, video that day because this was my only video quad. So, this is the first flight that I had that day. Sorry, man, I didn't mean to hit your prop. But you can see it seems like a little bit glitchy gyro, and then right there it completely wigs out. So, I'll play that one back for you right there around that last corner. So you can see, I come around the corner and, and it starts looking like what's gyro and then it, it flips out, right? So, and all those, those big twitches, that's usually a sign of a gyro glitch. I'm going to tell you, in this case, it wasn't it. So you can hear, disarmed. I did not disarm the copter there. So this was my next flight after that. You'll hear the beeper going off constantly that's because I thought I had black box on it but this was that, that switch was actually set up for my beeper so this was a motor lab cyclone no beat no black box which would have made this totally easy okay so this was my next flight after that I armed the copter it takes off the motors drop off and it lands right there I should have picked up on something that uh, Motor pick up, drop off, uh, like steady out, level out. That's indicative of fail safe. I'm going to play it back so that you can actually see it. Take off, level off the motors. Lands level, right? I rearm it, I take it back off. And then I have, you can hear the motors drop off a couple times. Then, and then they come back. And then it starts wigging out again and disarms. So after that, I took the copter home and pulled it apart like you do and tried to find something that was obviously wrong with it. And I couldn't find anything super obvious, but I did I did change a couple of things and clean, clean a little bit up in my wiring. Um, and I thought I fixed it because I, I got a couple of good flights in after that. And then I got an opportunity to fly with some guys in the... Waldorf, Maryland area that are setting up an indoor facility and they needed some consulting on, you know, what equipment to use and if the space was big enough. So I flew in there with those guys and uh, this is the flight with them. So flying around in the space at the, at the end of this, I get a uh, receiver lockout and when I pick the quad up, it starts to, my lost model alarm goes off, which should have been a clear indication That's for me what happened. My, uh, so that was not a lost model, well it was a lost model alarm. So pause the video, put your guess as to what's wrong here. This is finally the smoking gun. So at this point, you should, I knew exactly what was going on with it. So I'm going to play it back one more time in slow motion for you. And listen very closely to the tones that are playing. So clean flight, beta flight. Uh, when they have lost arming signal, they play SOS. So the first three tones are kind of covered up, but it does go beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. And that is lost arming, which is a sign that the receiver's bad. So I replaced the receiver and I've flown the quad for, you know, several hours after that. And I've had no problems with it. So it was 100% the receiver. So replace the receiver. And what was happening is the receiver was getting hot and shutting off. So, you know, hope you like this video. Maybe you like this format. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below, like, what you think. And uh, I'm curious to see what your guesses were. So, thanks for watching. And if you, if you like, hit that like button. 
Um, and if you have any ideas for future videos, you know, post them in the comments as well. Appreciate it.